Welcome back to another episode where I will be comparing DaVinci Resolve Smooth Cut Transition to Premiere Pro's Morph Cut Transition. Now both of these transition is meant to create a seamless transition between two clips. Now obviously these transitions were created more for interviews than anything else but I'm going to be testing it in an interview and see which one works better. So we're going to be starting out with Premiere Pro. Alright guys here on my timeline I've got an interview that I filmed and we had to do multiple takes for this corporate production and these two clips do look different from one another so let me just play it back so that you can see what this looks like cool so you can see there's a clear jump cut between these two clips and we obviously want to smooth that out so so let's grab the morph cut transition and add it onto our clips so I'm gonna leave it for the full second to see what that looks like and then we can make adjustments after that so I'll just let it analyze for a sec and then we'll play it back. Now, one thing that I have noticed about uh, Premiere Pro's Morph Cut is that the rendering times or the analyzing times in uh, Premiere Pro is very long. So if you wanna apply a lot of these uh, transitions to your footage, it's gonna take a very long time to analyze everything. And also when it doesn't analyze properly and you export your video, then it says rendering required and that is such a nuisance and it doesn't give you the warning when you export all right so the rendering is done let's see what this looks like with uh, the one second morph cut all right so I mean it looks a lot better uh, the transition is smoother but there's still weird artifacts where you can hear her talk but her lips aren't moving so let's just see that again yeah and so she's talking but her lips aren't moving and this is a corporate production so this definitely won't fly let's try to adjust this to make it look better so i'm going to set my transition so that it ends before she starts talking um, so let's just render that all right let's see what this looks like all right so the transition is a lot more smoother but you can see how the whole frame moves as you play. Especially when you look at these plants, the chair and everything. So um, one way to make that look better is to just adjust the position of the one frame and try to match it with the other one. But I do want to test what this will look like in both without making any of those adjustments. So let's try the smooth cut transition in DaVinci Resolve and see if it is any better. So yeah, in DaVinci Resolve, I've got the exact same spot of that edit. So where it runs from the one frame to the next and you can see there's a clear cut. So let's see what the smooth cut transition will look like on these clips. So with this, I'm also gonna leave the full second to see what this will do. So the cool thing about DaVinci Resolve is that it doesn't need to analyze, it actually make the adjustments instantly, which is fantastic. So let's play it back and see what this looks like. Wow. I mean, it almost doesn't look like there is a cut. Wow. So already this looks so much better and the transition is much smoother. You can do, you do see a little bit of artificial thingies going on on her face, but at least the lips are moving when she talks. So, and this is much more acceptable to me than the morph cut filter. So let's just play that back. So, I mean, it's looking good. So we can always then just make slight adjustments, maybe make it uh, shorter and see what that looks like. And also a really cool thing about uh, the smooth cut transition, you have different options where you can play around with it. Uh, it's really, really nice. Um, so with this shorter transition, let's see what it looks like. All right, so I mean this is a really really good transition. I mean just out of a box This is really really good and this is Very close to acceptable I would what I would do is maybe zoom into both these clips and try to line them up and then you'll have a flawless transition for a corporate production like this this transition is 
much more acceptable than the Morph Cut filter in Premiere Pro. So if you are doing interviews and you need smooth transitions, this is the transition to use. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.